Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're gonna cover country number 22 in my quest to visit every single country in the world and that country is Papua New Guinea. Now, I was really excited to go to Papua New Guinea because one of the things that I enjoy about traveling is going to really exotic places that most people will never go to and Papua New Guinea just screams exoticness. I also had a friend who lives there, his name is Daniel, and I was looking forward to hang out with him and get to know his home country and see how the locals live their life. However, when I went to Papua New Guinea, Daniel wasn't there yet. So when my flight was arriving at Port Moresby, Daniel would be out of the country for two more days before we would be able to meet up. So what Daniel did was he arranged for his parents to pick me up from the airport and I would end up staying with his parents for the next two days before I would transfer over and stay over at Daniel's place. Now my experience in Papua New Guinea is very mixed. It's extremely mixed. And even to this day, I have conflict with people who live there. And I'll go over that in this story that I'm about to share with you. So when I arrived in Port Moresby, which is the capital city of Papua New Guinea, I actually didn't know that you needed an exit ticket out of the country. Now I did have an exit ticket, but I did not have it printed out. And I didn't have internet, so I couldn't show them on my cell phone that exit ticket. The good news is that the lady who was working in immigration just said, you know what, it's fine, just go through and gave me the visa to enter Papua New Guinea, which is actually for free. After I went through immigration, I had to wait in the lobby for quite some time because I think that her parents might have gotten stuck in traffic or they weren't sure what time I was arriving. But after waiting for a little over half an hour, they managed to pick me up and off we went and they took me to a Chinese restaurant actually, which was super good. So they have really good Chinese restaurants in Port Moresby. One of the things I learned about traveling in Papua New Guinea is that it's a very mixed country. And a lot of people who live there are actually expats who are from United States, Taiwan, New Zealand, Australia, the United States of America, Canada, and just all over the world pretty much. And one of the reasons why they decided to move to Port Moresby is because there's a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money in this place. Now, Port Moresby is not a safe city. It's actually quite dangerous. But if you know how to navigate through the danger, then you're okay and there's a lot of opportunity to make money. So if you're someone that's really adventurous and you wanna make money, you can go to Port Moresby and try your luck at earning money there. Do keep in mind that the cost of living there is extremely expensive. This is not a cheap country for tourists to go to. And I think if I didn't go visit my friend, I would have died from all the expenses I would have to pay from traveling in Papua New Guinea. So after resting the first day and getting acquainted with Daniel's parents, which was super cool, I actually like both of them. They're very nice people. And I got along with the mom really well and me and the dad just hit it off actually. So the dad is one of those very domineering kind of individuals and I typically get along with those kind of people. So we just got along really well. Hi there, so I'm in uh, Papua New Guinea now and uh, this place is completely different from what I envision it to be because I thought this place is going to be full of cannibals and you know it's going to be a more rugged and raw and savage kind of land but it's a complete opposite it's full of uh, rich people who are high society and uh, it's just it looks like the Caribbean also it's, it's very strange apparently the weather is beautiful all year round and uh, I don't know I'm still confused I'm still trying to process what I've seen in this country so far Anyhow, I'm gonna go check out the sunset right now. Apparently, it's also beautiful. I'll take a picture of it and make a video and uh, I'll show you guys. Anyways, talk to you soon. Sunset at Port Moresby. The next day, he decided to pair me up with one of Daniel's friends and they took me to the FIFA World Cup soccer game for teenagers. And it was quite a nice experience to watch a live soccer game in person because I've never done that before and I've always had a negative opinion of soccer games and ever since going to that live show which was amazing I am not the kind of person that likes to watch soccer in person I still hate watching it on TV but in person I think it's quite exciting so anyways North Korea won the soccer game which goes to show their tenacity in winning soccer <laughs> watch the soccer game 
The following day, this was when things kind of turned bad for me. Daniel's friend decided to take me on a yacht and go sailing to this island in Port Moresby. And so far it sounds good, right? Like you're going on a yacht and you're going to go to a yacht country club and it's gonna be quite a nice experience. Actually, no, because I'm not the type of person that actually likes doing this rich people kind of stuff. Like when I got on the yacht and I met his friends, it was such a weird clicky kind of group of people. And long story short, I just did not get along with them and they did not get along with me. And actually, I wrote an article about them on my blog post some time ago and one of them actually threatened to sue me, which is ridiculous. How are you going to sue me? You're a Papua New Guinea citizen and I'm Canadian. Also, what I posted on my blog is just my opinion on what their personality was like. And in my opinion, their personality was not the type of personality that gets along with my personality. And I don't get along with people who I perceive as kind of shallow and in my opinion, a lot of them were shallow. Not all of them, a lot of them were cool people, but there's a bunch of them that was quite shallow and I just didn't mesh well with that culture. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a shallow person and the only problem here was obviously me and the problem was I was on this yacht and I should have never been on this yacht. So I wish that Daniel never arranged this because you know what, this is just not my scene. I'm the kind of traveler that likes it authentic and I'm not the kind of person that is pretentious. So, you know, just that one factor it was clearly not a good match. So I was in the yacht, they were doing their rich people talk and being pretentious and I really hated it. And I didn't mesh well with anyone. We went to the island, it was kind of okay as we explored this island. It, it was beautiful, don't get me wrong, the yacht, the scenery, Papua New Guinea is one of the most beautiful countries I've ever seen. The sunset, the water, everything is just beautiful. So for that aspect of things, I can appreciate it. I just wish I was with better company. The next day, my friend Daniel finally arrived in Papua New Guinea. And this was when my trip in Port Moresby actually became a lot better because now I'm hanging out with my friend that actually came to that country to see. Hey guys, it's me, Kendrick. Um, I'm with here with my buddy, Daniel. You can see him from the background right there. WDS represent. And uh, he's showing me around uh, Port Moresby. And so far, so good. I think uh, the biggest thing I learned about this place is it's not a savage land that I envision it to be, with, where there's a cannibal and they're gonna capture you and then put you in a, in a big pot and they're gonna cook you up and then eat you for dinner. Actually, it's pretty modern. Although it's also a big contradiction because despite being really modern, their internet is still lacking and it's super expensive. I, th I think uh, my buddy here was telling me $333 a month for uh, two gigabytes? Is it two gigabytes? Uh, yeah. Two megabit. Two megabit, yeah. Speed. Speed. So it's it's quite expensive here. It's ridiculous. So um, it's also hard to get around for tourists. But I believe if you get an Airbnb and you get to know the host, then you can get around, right? You would say that? Yeah. So I think the best way to get around here is to stay at an Airbnb, get to know your host, and then you can ask them where to go and perhaps they can even show you around. And that's probably the best way to explore. Uh, Port Moresby because I think if you don't have the local help, it's gonna be a lot of challenge And I think you'll also miss out on some of the stuff that only they would know like you can't find this online So me and my friend we just ate some Chinese food. He took me to play bowling, which was super fun And we also did some errands with him, which was actually really interesting I actually like that aspect of it because for me, I like to see the authentic side of every country so he did some errands, did some business stuff with his parents where they were running real estate and they had to deal with some management problems. And then we had to go to this one office to notarize some kind of documents. And I thought that was super fun. It was also one of the rare moments where we actually walk in the streets of Port Moresby because typically you're not allowed to do that because Port Moresby is a dangerous place. We got a chance to walk on the streets and that was really cool. Uh, later on, me and Daniel also checked out the port, took some pictures there. We also got a chance to check out the war cemetery, which was also very interesting to see the history during World War II with all the people that died during that war. We also got a chance to check out the adventure park, which was neat on its own right. And I enjoyed walking through that adventure park checking out the different animals that's endemic to Papua New Guinea and also just seeing some of the art and just the park in general in that area. I also got a chance to be just a normal person because after backpacking for several months, sometimes you just crave being a normal person again. So we did spend some time just hanging out in this apartment, playing some PlayStation and it was super fun. Now for one of the days that I was in Port Moresby, Daniel's dad actually asked him to talk to me about helping him out with his business. So he said, because I was staying in his place to pay for my board, then I need to help him in his business. So it was quite fun, actually. I actually really enjoyed it. He was trying to create this app for people who 
want to have an offshore account and he does offshore banking and accounting work for people who wants to do offshore banking as well, at the time at least. He wanted to make this app. So together we brainstormed this app, we made a YouTube video, we created a website for him. And it was so fun, I actually enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. So for me, that was an enjoyable day. On the sixth day, the day that I was leaving, we just checked out some restaurants and I bid farewell to Daniel. So hopefully I can see him again one day. But my trip in Papua New Guinea, overall, it was really good had I not visited those friends of Daniel. Actually, they're not even really his close friends. They're just his acquaintances. So his friends were one of them. And that one of them, that's his group of friends. So I think if I visited Papua New Guinea again, I would go to a different city and I would just visit Daniel. And I would avoid mingling with people that I know will probably not mesh well with me to begin with. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a round the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.